ANC stalwart Cheryl Carolla spoke out as well. She told ENCA that the tourism minister must be fired. In an exclusive interview with Heidi Jokos, Kerala says Sisulu is way out of line. Minister Lindy Sisulu's comments about our constitution is just unacceptable and it should not be left unchallenged. I certainly hope that she will be made to account for that. It is reckless, it is unbelievable that she had taken an oath of allegiance to our constitution and to act in the interest of that constitution. She was part of the drafting of that constitution. There are many quotes which I've seen uh, around where she has actually given people assurances about how good our constitution is, how solid our rule of law is, our judiciary. And I just say thank God for our constitution. Thank God for the fact that we are a country where the rule of law does apply and against vilification and threats. Our judiciary remains independent largely. We can see there are attempts and there have been a number of attempts to try and co-opt members of the judiciary and we must not allow that to happen. And I also want to ask that the political parties who sit on the Judicial Services Commission, please can they behave themselves in a non-political partisan way. Their job there is not to defend the party line. Their job there is to protect and promote the constitution and the rule of law of the constitution of South Africa. And so as far as Minister Sisulu goes, her re remarks were completely out of order and completely unacceptable. I don't even want to grace it with an intellectual interrogation. Mm. And so I sincerely hope that she will be called to account uh, for those comments she made. And by the way, I just want to say that the Constitution is what protected poor people against ministers like her in this country. When she was on a cabinet and part of leadership where people had to go to court to get access to antiretrovirals, it was the Constitutional Court that saved hundreds of thousands and by now millions of lives of people, that gave people living with HIV the dignity. She was part of the leadership that fought the Constitutional Court on that matter, and they lost. If it wasn't for the Constitutional Court, people would still not have access. The Khrudboer matter, where the right to housing, the Bill of Rights, was enforced, the Constitutional Court enforced that against a government who, in fact, asserted that it couldn't do that. When Michael Kumape drowned in feces, in a pit latrine, it was the Constitutional Court that said, this is unacceptable. And Minister Sisulu was part of the government who in fact opposed when this matter was taken to court 